In the latest teaser for Netflix's The Crown, we see them cleverly transitioning Queen Elizabeth II to her new appearance as an... Eld Bat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. As far as Netflix originals go, The Crown is funnily enough Netflix's crown jewel. But have you ever wondered what the real Queen of England thinks of the show? Well, a new statement from Buckingham Palace proves the royal family think it's a royal pain. The Crown follows the life and times of Queen Elizabeth II and plays off of real life events and how they affected the royal family. Being a TV show, it is of course a dramatic interpretation of the events, however, usually sticking reasonably close to the truth. Previously, royal advisers have stated that Her Majesty was, quote, reasonably entertained by the first season of the show. Unlike Prince Philip, who according to star Vanessa Kirby says he, quote, can't be bothered. There was one story arc, however, that the Queen was upset by in the second season, surrounding Prince Charles being picked on at school and how Prince Philip was, quote, a father insensitive to his son's well-being, end quote. The royal advisor went on to say that she was particularly annoyed at a scene which Philip has no sympathy for plainly upset Charles while he's flying him home from Scotland. According to Her Majesty, that simply did not happen. In the time leading up to the third season, Buckingham Palace have felt the need to distance themselves from the hit show after The Guardian posted an article alluding to the royal family being considered in the writing of the show. Donald McCabe, the Queen's communications secretary, has this to say about said article. Quote, your article may have the unfortunate consequence of leading your readers to believe that the television series The Crown is made with some sort of endorsement of the royal household, or an acceptance by the royal household that the drama is factually accurate. We appreciate that readers of The Guardian may enjoy this fictionalised interpretation of historical events, but they should do so in knowing that the royal household is not complicit in interpretations made by the program. The royal household has never agreed to vet or approve content, has not asked to know what topics will be included, and would never express a view as to the program's accuracy. This statement of course covers the royal family for any inaccuracies, but on the other side of the coin, pardon the pun, it begs to question are they doing what they are notorious for in the show and keeping up appearances and hiding dark secrets within the palace walls? This is not the only time that the royal family has commented on Hollywood's take on them. Dame Helen Mirren had her performance as Queen Elizabeth II in the 2006 film The Queen, which followed the events surrounding the death of Princess Diana in 1997. There has been no official reaction from the Queen herself However, her grandchildren, Harry and William, have said that they were, quote, cool about it, and even once jokingly called Mirren Granny. But what are your thoughts on the portrayal of the royal family in TV and film? Do you think it's historically accurate, or are the lives of the royals hardly that dramatic? Let me know in the comments. Season 3 of The Crown is dropping November 17 without Buckingham Palace's seal of approval, and it'll be interesting to see if it shows the royal family in a not-so-flattering light.